Okay, we're gonna Volvo XC90 2003 year. We went ahead and pulled out our cams and the timing belt today. We had a little noise here in the upper end, so we checked out all these bearings. We had a clogged oil feed galley that was leading up to the head. So we're gonna continue on with dismantling all this stuff. We did a lot of cleaning and uh, scraping of fucking debris. There was a lot of it. I don't know if you guys can uh, really see what's going on inside this motor, but there was total sludge chaos in there. Let's see if we can get a better shot inside. Kind of hard with this lighting I got. But um, yeah, it was definitely a bad day for this Volvo. There was metal particles everywhere. We've just finished doing the oil pan. We did the main bearings, connecting rod bearings. Next, this one's got an external oil pump that's located right here behind the balancer. We're going to be trying to pull that guy out. And we're going to inspect that pump before we try to get it running because we don't want to be shooting any metal debris back through this motor. We also found inside the, the CVVT solenoids for the constant variable valve timing. A lot of metal, metal shavings. We also found them inside the clutch assemblies for the timing unit itself. So we're going to be addressing that. We also got a major leak back here on the turbo. So we're going to be taking the turbo out and we got a rebuild kit for that guy too. So in case any of you guys got any turbo charged cars out there, need some turbos redone. Got our turbo kit here. Ordered that guy online. And there's our head and our cams. Just did a mild cleaning. I'm going to take it back to the house and polish it up. Check everything. Got all our lifters here. Our worst one was number 20. Number 10. So take a look inside there if we can. Let's see. Pretty burnt, pretty nasty. Let's see if we can get a better view of this. See inside the walls of this thing. You can just see lots of debris. Got the thing was nasty. Pretty bad. All day, just knocking and knocking and knocking. And then let's take a look. Was that number 20? Let's take a look at number 10. 10 is pretty bad too. There you go, there's a good shot of it. This one was actually wedged inside. Couldn't get it out at all. So so now let's compare. I'll show you guys. That's number 20. And let's look at number, let's see, like one. Look at number one. So definitely you can see where there's an issue here. It's a five cylinder, 2.5 liter. So pretty much the rear two cylinders, four and five, weren't getting any oil. There's number 11 for number one on the exhaust side. Looks nice and good. Now if we go halfway down the line, like 15, just getting a little darker. Let's go number 18, where's 18 at? Let's go with 18, see so yeah, Now we're getting even darker. Let's see where's 19. 19, getting burnt. And then 20, solid black. So that's what's going on with this motor. We're going to be addressing that. Let's get this thing up and running and keep you guys updated. The 2003 Volvo XC90. The leading cause for all of this was a faulty pickup tube, oil pickup tube that we're going to be replacing as well. So, if you guys got one of these Volvos, make sure you change that oil pickup tube before it fails. Later.